I have the pleasure to introduce um, Dr. Albert Burla, who is since 2019, just before uh, the COVID crisis broke out, you were nominated chairman and uh, CEO of uh, Pfizer. And what formidable journey uh, in the last uh, uh, 30 months. Yes. And would you help those countries uh, also afterwards to develop their own production line? What we are going to do, and this is a very good point, that um, what we discovered through uh, the pandemic was that uh, supply was not enough to resolve the issues that these countries are having. Right now, for example, there are billions of doses of our vaccine, the vaccine that was used in Europe, in, uh, in the US, that it is offered to low-income countries for free. And it is offered by the US government mainly, but also by the European Union, that they are doing donations. So the US government bought for us at cost and they donate it. They can't use them right now because we discovered that one thing is supply and the other thing is to have educated population that believe that vaccines is doing well to have doctors or nurses that will administer, to have infrastructure and logistical that you can store it in every place in the country and not only in the capital of the country. A lot of things are missing. For this reason, given the lessons that we got, in addition to the initiative that is brought and addresses 45 countries, we selected five of them that uh, the governments are really keen to work on these issues as well. Those five, it is Rwanda, uh, Malawi, Uganda, uh, Ghana, Ghana, and uh, Senegal. Mm -hmm. So with those five, we signed already uh, our letters of intent, and we will work not only giving them the medicines, but on the ground to identify so blockages. Stand up, because in Switzerland, for those who do not know, there are no restrictions anymore. So we set the standard that we uh, require vaccination. Now. How many vaccinations do we need in the future? What it's a very good question. <laughs> and I think, uh, first of all, I think we will need vaccinations in the future, but also I'm concerned that the compliance of the population yeah. with the recommendations of the experts will not be very high. More people did the first dose, and then lesser did the second, and then lesser will do the third and the fourth. And um, so for that reason, we need to find the solution that makes it easy for people to get. And I think this solution, it is the number one priority is to have a vaccine that lasts a year. So once people know that it is once a year, I do it every autumn, for example, fall, uh, I think that will improve the amount of people that they are getting. The and I think you, there are also certain attempts to combine it with a anti-flu vaccine. That is another very good way to make it uh, uh, to, to improve compliance. If someone thinks that I'm going to go to the doctor or to the pharmacy, but at least with one shot I will get two, flu and va that also will increase the number. So these are the things. It's very difficult to improve the efficacy right now. It's very, very high. But what you can improve it is uh, how convenient it is and how can last the efficacy for a longer period of time.